So these places became, they established uh, superior air authority and the atmosphere over that region became secured airspace into which the demonic was not allowed to enter. It became a heavenly portal. They became heavenly portals that reached completely from heaven to earth. In this vision, as he's describing, he says those places became valves. A valve is a connecting point of heaven and earth. They became valves through which heavenly activity flowed to earth freely. That's incredible. That's incredible. Demons, in this vision, demons avoided those places at all costs. They wanted nothing to do with them. It's like when Jesus showed up and they would run from the, from the room and say, we don't want to be here. So in this vision, he says the battle was for the spine. To, to me, that's, that's the nervous system. That's where all the, the strength, the signals, the coordination, you know, the, 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 not the mental coordination, but the ability to carry it out all comes from the spine. The battle was for the spine. Whoever controls the spine in this vision controls the destiny of millions of people. The goal was to establish territories from which activities and assignments could be released. Out of those activities and assignments came alignment or lack of alignment. So the, the, the goal of, of, of spirit, the spiritual realm was to create activity, events and activities in those places that allowed either alignment or misalignment to take place. As went the spine, so went the earth. He references the Garden of Eden as an example. Adam disobeyed. A dislocation came to the spine and evil came. I hear the Lord say that the earth belongs to him and the very reason he's raised up an ecclesia that walks in a new level of understanding and authority, anointing and assignment, which we know is to bring alignment to the global spine. We know that, but I'm reading it today because I want to re-emphasize that all the stuff that's coming that is negative and not good is being described here, but God also has a plan through the ecclesia to bring realignment. And one of the things, well, let me finish reading this and then... Uh, Remind me to talk about California. The earth is going to go through, is going through a major spiritual chiropractic adjustment that is bringing correction to the global spine. As the spine comes into order and alignment, the result is, susta is sustained global outpouring of Holy Spirit and a revival that can't be quenched. Demonic entities are being dislodged and twisted theologies are being exposed. One of the primary purposes of the revelation of the Ecclesia is to reveal the twisted lies of demonic religious teachings that keep the spine out of alignment. In other words, he's saying there, when the church is not able to function according to God's plan for the church, it can't heal the spine. So one of the purposes of the revelation that is God is bringing now about ecclesia is because that's what's going to, when that gets in place, it'll heal the spine. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I saw coming out of the four corners of the world, intercession aimed directly at the spine. As the decrees were hurling through the atmosphere, they were picking up speed, power, and authority, and were being joined by other intercessory decrees released toward the spine. So people doing it here, people doing it there, these came together. As angels saw the rapid movement and gaining momentum of the intercessory weapon that was being formed, they released decrees from the ages past that were being held for such a time as this. As we decree 
and others decree, releasing the word of the Lord. Angels are reaching back in time and grabbing decrees made in the past that were for now. This is amazing stuff, isn't it? And joining those with the today decrees of the ecclesia. Talk about the synergy of the ages. This is a supernatural synchronization of different groups, different places, and different eras coming together for such a time as this, he says. As the decree pick, decrees picked up speed, momentum, authority, and anointing, demonic sentinels attempted to sound a warning. But it did, not, it did not work as the empowered decree hit the region of misalignment. Demons were dislodged. Strongholds were broken. Hiding places were revealed. Dens of iniquity were exposed and demonic entities were scattered into the outer regions of darkness. Demon princes who sat on thrones of deception Iniquities and lies were cast down. The suddenness of attack caught them off guard. This is what I'm saying when I say this evil is going to get worse and worse and worse. But God has a plan and he knows how to just. I mean, he just knows how to. He can do things so fast when it's time. The suddenness of the attack caught him off guard. Confusion erupt, disrupted and scattered demonic powers that ruled. See, I think, Clay, they're already beginning to feel this. Yes, they are. I think demonic powers are already beginning to feel confused, disoriented, and very, very alarmed. Once they were dislodged from the earth, Earth's atmosphere, they were not allowed back. Which means some demons are going to be done away with. Amen. Immediately behind the intercessory missiles, it's a good picture for your prayers, were warring angels assigned to bring order and alignment. They engaged in warfare with these demons. But, but the demons were defeated quickly, he says, because they were outmatched and outnumbered. Then they gathered around portions of the spine, both sides of it, and began to push. So where the spine was diseased, dislocated, out of alignment, angels gathered on either side and began to push their actions were empowered in this vision by the ecclesia by the by the prayers of the ecclesia this spine was enormous and severely twisted places but as they pushed as the angels pushed and the ecclesia interceded the creative breath of holy spirit began to blow and bring correction alignment and order to the spine <clears throat> this is about to intensify the prayers are going to intensify the angelic activity is going to intensify demonic activity is going to intensify and we're going to have to be steadfast, immovable unintimidated, stay the course because God is using our prayers to do this and one of the th here's one of the things I think is going to happen in America there is coming a very clear line of demarcation between life and death. When Roe is overturned, they're going to be, as Clay said, states, they're already doing it. It will be released fully when Roe is overturned. They will make their stand for death. There will be then a very clear 
distinction between those who honor life, those who continue to shed innocent blood. 